Hello fellow travelers, welcome back to our channel, Bliss Venture. I'm thrilled to have you join us today for an exciting journey as we embark on our very first episode of this incredible series. I'm your host Richie and I'm going to be here to guide you through the wonders of this adventure before us. Now, before we dive into today's Bliss Venture, let me fill you in on what happened last night. My girlfriend Carla and I had an unforgettable party right here in Cape Town, South Africa. South Africa, Cape Town, best parties ever. We had such a blast that Carla is still snoozing away, but don't worry. I let sleeping lions sleep. I'm going to wake up gently, trust me. You don't want to witness her this morning if she's startled. But enough about that. Let's focus on what lies ahead. Today we're setting off on an epic journey through the breathtaking resort of Monkey Valley in Norte Cape Town. This hidden gem is nestled at the foot of the iconic Chapman's Peak, offering stunning views and an unforgettable experience. And guess what? You come here. Adventure begins here in the picturesque Camps Bay. We will make our way through vibrant African markets on the side of the road. Must stop and get some of that stuff. From there, we'll pass the charming town of Hout Bay where we'll stock up on some supplies to ensure that we've got everything we need for our blissful expedition. But hold on tight because the real magic awaits as we transverse the world famous Chapman's Peak Drive a mesmerizing route overlooking breathtaking long beach white sand forever picture perfect scenery awaits every single turn and you won't want to miss that not for a single moment i also have a little bit of a surprise for you and carla doesn't know about it she's never seen it it's called the cave so shh don't tell her finally our journey will lead us down into the enchanting Nortok, where Monkey Valley Resort eagerly awaits our arrival. The tranquility and beauty is beyond measure. This place will capture your heart and leave you longing for more. Let me give you a little squeeze of the route we're going to take. Stand by. So this episode is just the beginning of a series of our Monkey Valley Bliss Venture. There's more than one episode. And I promise you, you won't want to miss the subsequent episodes of this series. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so that you stay updated on the next episode and all of our future series and adventures. They're exhilarating and you can live vicariously through us. Now, before we get going, I'd love to hear from you if you've ever had the pleasure of visiting Hout Bay, Chapman's Peak, Nurtuk, Long Beach, or especially Monkey Valley. Drop a comment down below and share your unforgettable experiences with us. I'd love to hear about them. All right, folks, enough chit chat. It's time to say adios to Cape Town's vibrant energy and embark on this thrilling bliss venture together. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this journey started. Thanks for joining us and uh, let's do this thing. Later. So we have just woken up to a beautiful day. 
Look at this. What a day to be alive. And we are going to Monkey Valley. Let's go see where the princess is. Oh, I've got a little wrap here. It's a vegetarian wrap. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's a little sleeping beauty. We're going to Monkey Valley. Yeah, we're going to Monkey Valley. Even though we had, what, four hours sleep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get you some coffee. <laughs> so, we are going to have a healthy weekend with bananas, for example. <laughs> And some apples. <laughs> Pack. Pack. No. Definitely. Uh, what you looking for? My other shoe. Are you looking for your other shoe? Oh no, man. I think you've got enough luggage for two days, eh? This is not even enough. Oh no, come on. We can do it. We're ready to rock and roll. Be ready to go. Woo. Look at me, yeah? That's a, that's a boy bag and that's a girl bag. <laughs> a big one and a small one. And only as far as bags go. <laughs> and you got that straight. Are you ready for an adventure? I'm ready. You don't forget your first love. We were young and wild. We were up all night. You don't forget that summer sun, 2009. We were feeling high. And I drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make a move It was all my time, the time of our lives, you were on my mind, my right of die, it was all my time, the time of our lives, you were on my mind, my right of die, yeah Along Chapman's Peak. Wait till you see this. It's awesome. Don't forget your first kiss. We were so damn high. We could touch the sky. Drunk on love. Drunk on What's it? That's it. We are on our way to Hart Bay. When you come to South Africa, between Camps Bay and Hart Bay, you must stop there and buy some of this. So Richard was so close, <laughs> driving that over, stopping just there. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> this is from Mal Malawi, it is. Malawi. And by the way, are you from Malawi? I'm also from Malawi. So by the way, we're not being preferential, but I've got a farm which you will see in one of our episodes. And my two boys that run the show there are from Malawi. Malawians are one of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. And they've got green fingers. I don't know why. And anything they touch grows. We're going to get some beers, we're going to get some wine, and my baby love likes cider. Woo! So that's what we're going to do here. 
and there's something that is quite unique about South Africa. Follow me. In South, in South Africa, we have load sheds. We're not going to go in the shop, but I'm going to show you nothing stops people from selling stuff. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> and I haven't even had a drink yet. So, as you can see, in South Africa, we shop in the dark. It's pretty light to me. <laughs> let's buy wigs. Hold on, let's come, let's find a wig. What did you get? I got Princess Tiara. Is it a tiara? I think so. Put it on. And you, is that a unicorn? Ah, there we go. Give us a little spin. And what is that in your hand? And then I've got some bubbles. How does that work? <laughs> and then we got some glow sticks. Oh my goodness, that's going to be fun. Let's go get some wine. Let's do it. Now we're going to get some beer, we're going to get some cider, and we're going to get some wine. And it's cold in here, and I'm loving it. <laughs> so, by the way, this is our favorite wine Paul Horse Cabernet Sauvignon. It's wooded, it's delicious, and also, it's delicious. <laughs> so, in France, you get cognac, right? You're not allowed to call it cognac in South Africa. So, we call it brandy. This has been matured in little oak barrels from France for 10 years. How old were you, Carla, when this was made? Uh, two, 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 two. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you my age. <laughs> we got wine, ten year old brandy, cider, we got beers, we got this. They gave us this for free because they think that I'm gonna Coca Cola with ten year old brandy. But anyway, it was free. Now the best part of this is I want you Americans and Europeans. Can you see that? 1,300 Rand divided by 20. Yeah. Get your ass to South Africa. Come have a beer with me. You look absolutely stunning, my little queen bee. And don't you have a unicorn? I do. I knew you were blown it. That's cute. Unicorn. <laughs> What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. We're living. Now what we're doing is we're going on Chapman's Peak. This is famous around the world, especially with cyclists. <laughs> This is amazing. Check the hikers. Now, don't underestimate how far they're going to walk. They're going to walk far. It's kilometers. He has the toll gate. Mm, so the reason that they've got a toll gate, young guys, is because this 
uh, uh, Chapman's Peak used to often be closed and you'll see why while we're driving you we, you probably gonna get spoiled more than you can imagine and the rocks used to fall down the mountain and you know they block the whole thing off and it's the shortest way to get to Hart Bay where we bought liquor so this thing now is a toll road and they use that money and you will see why they use that money I've heard that it's a technical engineering feat and this auntie is gonna help me pay for this hello arrive alive baby yes please <laughs> <laughs> look they've got picnic vouchers so you can get a day pass and I think hello all the way through baby all the way through God invalid. Woo. <laughs> okay. How many runs is it? Okay, I'll pay with a. This guy is a legend. Our first democratic president. <laughs> we call him Madiba. The best president in my life. Thanks, we got green. Green, let's do that! Let's do it! Thank you! So this uncle is going to check that we paid because if you did a day pass, you got to stop here and turn around. Yo, oh, they're hectic. Hey, buddy. Sure, man. Hello. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have Cheers a lovely day. day. Woo! Woo! Turn around, otherwise you must pay. <laughs> We're going to pass the limit. Way past the limit. down uh, below that mountain yeah you can see some of the stuff these are the nets that I was telling you about and look how they put nets over everything now guys we're gonna pull up over here and we're gonna blow your mind like people are gonna look at us funny when we do what we're about to do you won't believe it we're gonna stop it's in the dark We're dreamers do this adventure wait till you
I'm going to tell you, I did already tell you, a bit of a sad story. So there was a girl, it was her birthday. She was here with all of her friends, possibly some of her family, and they were going to do a picture and a video. So we're not going to try this, okay? And if you ever come here, don't try that either, okay? Mm -hmm. So what she did was she stood on the edge there, right down there, right? And and she jumped for a photograph and when she landed she lost her footing right and she fell down the mountain now what Carla and I want to know what you think is this if you were gonna die how cool because we are all gonna die right so no one dies and it's great for the other people that they leave behind but if you were gonna die imagine dying on your birthday with everyone who loves you. I mean, traumatic, right? But what a way to go. Put down in the comments what you think. If you're gonna die, would you like to die on your birthday? Even if you're 80 years old, your birthday is your dead day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look how beautiful this is, okay? Now, I'm gonna zoom in and that down there is called Komiki okay now that strip of sand is where I'm gonna fly my drone for the first time they say you must always do it in an open space now that is called Long Beach and the reason it's called Long Beach is it's the longest beach in in your mind it's huge that is Nuatuk down there and then it goes into Komiki so you'll see us on the beach later on what we're going to do is we're going to show you some history. Follow me. Nineteen fifteen. That's amazing. Prince Arthur of Connaught. <laughs> That's funny because when I was a young boy. Nought meant no, but a nought is also a sphincter. <laughs> it's Arthur of sphincter. <laughs> Bye. 
Tell you 